Hi all, my name is Vincent Lee. Welcome to our Well-Built TV with collaboration of our Technolux. So who is Technolux? Technolux is our sole distributor in Philippines for all our equipment. So today, the first product I'm showing you is roast chicken. So roast chicken we know in Philippines is the staple food. It's a basic food. Everybody loves it. Okay, so today to cook our roast chicken, I'm going to use our multiple step cooking. Okay, there'll be a few steps that I'm going to use to cook the full load of chicken. So let's go to our converter. So this is our 9 inch high resolution control panel. We go to the chef head. Why? Because chef head is where we do our cooking. So you will see from this panel, from top down, so you will see four icons on the top. What do they mean? It means four different types of cooking mode. Steam, combi, convection, last but not least, smoke. Yes, you heard me. The oven allows you to do smoking. Okay? So today, to cook chicken, I'm going to smoke the chicken before I cook. Why? Because I really love the smoke aroma. Okay? So how do we do it? We go to our smoke function. How long you smoke your product depends on how intense you want the flavor to be. Example, this chicken. If I want it to be really, really intense, I will set at one hour. If I want it to be moderate, I will change the time to 45 minutes. Okay? And that's it for step one. Second step. So to add the step, I will go to this icon with the plus sign. Second step is the cooking step. So what is this? This is combi. In combi, I will choose temperature 185. The next layer, you will see a clock and a thermometer. So it means that you either choose time or you choose what we call our core temperature control to cook your product. So why do we use our core temperature control? Because our product has got a little bit of variance, be, be it the size, be it the temperature before cook, or the quantity. Okay, so to cook our product to perfection, I will use my hot cook to help me. So I go in, I choose 68. So the second step. I will choose my core temperature control. I set at 68 degrees Celsius. And I tick. Third step is convection. So in convection, why do I use convection? Because I want to crisp up the skin for the chicken. Okay, so I choose convection, temperature, 225 degrees Celsius time 5 minutes fan fan speed we have the five different levels of fan speed so i choose level 5 okay why now give me 1 minute okay so what is this function this is what we call cnt or crisp and tasty so what's the function so what is the function of crisp and tasty it helps us to dehumidify the cooking chamber while we are cooking. Okay, why? Because we want the atmosphere, the cooking atmosphere to be dry so that the product can get a crispy skin. Okay? Now, and same thing, you got five different levels or zero. So here, I'm going to use level five. The reason why I use fan five, high speed, because I want the moisture inside the chamber to be pushed out as fast as possible. So I'm using fan 5. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to use the number 4 step. Okay, so what is number 4 step? I want to ensure that my product is cooked to perfection on the internal. Okay, so here, the temperature, same thing, 2 to 5. Hot probe. 75 Crisp and tasty level 5 Fan level 5 Okay So once I'm done With all the setting 
I can actually check here so everything is good so when I press the start button the oven will sense the internal temperature is it too high or too low if it's too low it will go into a preheat but if it's too high it will ask you to lower the temperature okay so now I'm going to go in and start my cooking Okay, so now I'm going to go in and regulate the temperature for my oven. Okay, so it says that okay, the temperature is a bit too high. So I'm going to open the door with our dual action doorknob. So what is a dual action doorknob? It is actually one of our very, very good safety feature. Okay, dual action. So you can see the internal temperature is 102. First action. The oven open a small gap and let the first gush of hot air escape. And a few seconds later, we go to another direction. So this is where the oven will cool down. Okay. And last but not least, because the glass is really hot, we don't want to we don't want to burn ourselves. So we want to slide the door to the side of the oven. So give me two minutes and you'll be done. Okay, so before we load our product into the oven, I'm going to tell you one more accessories. I'm going to tell you one accessories that we need for smoking. So this is our, which is our smoker box. Okay, so this is our smoker box. It's got three pieces, the cover, the holder, and the handle. And very important, we need our dust, okay our wood chip so very importantly we need our wood chip okay so to use the smoker box we open up the cover and we add our wood chip okay so you can use any type of wood chip with any flavor that you want so to make things easier here we use the biscuit all right so you can load up to eight pieces of wood chip biscuit. Once you're done, you'll see this is the hole. What is this for? This is actually for the heating lemon, the heating element that's inside the oven. So with this, this is the cover. And the handle. And there we go to the oven. And you can see from the bottom of the cooking chamber a piece of heating element. This is where the heating element goes into this opening. And that's it. And now we can load our product. Okay, so after I reload our wood chip, we're gonna load in our product. Okay guys, so now we are almost at the end of our first step of our roast chicken. So you can see that in the chamber, it's full of smoke because of our smoke arc function from Converton. So now we have completed about 43 minutes and 36 seconds of the smoke process. So just now we set at 45 minutes. So you can see that the smoking is really, really intense in our, in our Converton 4. Okay, so once the time the time runs out for the smoking mode you will jump into the cooking mode okay and you can see that there are four steps that we set here so from step one to step two step three to step four we do not have to do anything we do not have to press any buttons on the control panel it's fully automatic for the whole cooking process okay so I'll come back to you when the chicken is done okay so you can see that our product is done now Okay, so this is what you will see. Open the door with our door action door knob. First action, the door open up, small gap. First gush hot air escape, and then three, five, three to five seconds later, hit it to the opposite side, 
and this is how we open the door so because inside is hot the glass is also hot as well I want to slide the door to the side of my oven and I want to remove the cough rock as well Okay, so this is full load chicken with smoke process. Okay, so you can see that the browning of the chicken is very even, be it the top tray, bottom tray, or, or, the, or the center tray. So you can see that because of our advanced closed system plus, okay, we created a closed system inside the oven chamber. So after we cook, our product gets very even. Okay, not forgetting. our smoke device here so this is what happened after you finish the smoking okay so this is the ah, wood chip that's left over okay so this is about 45 minutes of uh, smoking all right so if you want to so in short if you want to do smoking for a longer time even up to two hours the box of wood chip will supply you two hours of smoking process okay so thank you everyone for watching if you have any questions about anything about the cooking profile or how to cook the chicken let me know and we'll get back to you shortly thank you very much for watching and i'll be back with you for another dish very soon. Thank you.